One day without meat. That was a proclamation made by the governor that stirred an intense debate at the Capitol today. It led to some agricultural industry leaders threatening to move part of the stock show out of the state. CBS4 political specialist Sean Boyd joins us from the Capitol. And Sean, the governor is not backing off his statement. Karen, he is downplaying it all, but make no mistake, he has created a major dust up. As one rancher put it, words have consequences, especially when they're the words of the governor. We can't have leadership in this state throw the number two industry in this state under the bus. That's unacceptable. Senator Jerry Sonnenberg took to the floor of the Senate and took Governor Polis to task over this, a proclamation declaring March 20th meet out day in Colorado. A holiday in the state of Colorado for meat free. It's not the first time the governor, whose partner is vegan, has snubbed the beef industry. Sonnenberg recalled how he plugged Burger King's meatless burger, sending a bunch to the Department of Agriculture. This contributes to his war on rural Colorado. It is indeed a slap in the face. It could also have economic ramifications. Sonnenberg says the National Hereford Association is now threatening to leave the National Western, calling the proclamation the last straw. We do hundreds of these proclamations. Polis suggests everyone's overreacting, noting he's expanded markets for Colorado beef, and he likes meat, or at least cooking it. This was one of my uh, uh, quarantine hobbies, was learning to uh, really develop techniques around cooking some of the underappreciated cuts. Uh, I'll put my brisket against anybody's brisket in the state. Senator Rhonda Fields suggests the governor is tone deaf. Have you seen the lines? in reference to people getting boxes of food, and we, we won't have a day of no meat. Ranchers like Sonnenberg also unamused. I'm asking you to stand up for agriculture. Now, the National Western released a statement saying it's disappointed in the proclamation, but wouldn't say what impact it might have on the stock show. Meantime, the Colorado Cattlemen's Association is holding Meet in day on March 20th, the same day as Meet Out Day. There will be barbecues across the state and stores and restaurants offering specials on meat. So, Meet Out Day has led to Meet In Day and may actually help meat sales and hopefully not hurt the National Western. Live at the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean Oliver.